The wind howled on this sunny Halloween afternoon in Evanston, Illinois. For the second straight week, the Nittany Lions were on the road, visiting Northwestern with a chance to prove they were not just masquerading as Big Ten title contenders. For the second straight week, they won the coin toss and deferred. It's a fumble, and Penn State recovers the ball. Fumble the football, recovered by Crawford. And Penn State's good, boys, and they know that, you know that, I know that, but you don't need to help them. Jack Crawford fell on the loose pumpkin, and the Nittany Lions were looking to carve out an early lead, and they did on a 32-yard field goal by Colin Wagner. But the stubborn Wildcats had set the tone for the half. This was going to be more trick than treat for a while. First down from the 46. Deeks to the outside and is ripped down at the 48-yard line by Sean Lee. One of the top linebackers in college football. All right, shotgun now on second and eight. He'll pitch it back and Cannon sweeping the air. Side taken down for a loss and an outstanding play by Jack Crawford. Well, I'll say this is what our defensive linemen and ends can do. And here's Stephen Demas to punt. <laughs> Graham Zug back to receive, but first the flag. 12 men on the defense prior to the snap. First down. So from a punt and a drive stopped, a new chance for Northwestern. High snap, Demas gets the kick off and boots it through. 34-yarder as Northwestern makes the most of its second opportunity on the drive to tie it at three. Penn State's defense has been a horror show for opponents all year. They came into the Northwestern game the stingiest in the country in points allowed per game. But early in the second quarter, the Wildcats would put together a successful drive that resulted in just the second touchdown against the Nittany Lions in the first half all year. But Daryl Clark and company had something special conjured up as well, and Penn State would produce their longest drive of the season. Play action, Clark rolls far side, Bean Chase delivers downfield, Moy makes the catch at the 39-yard line and driven out of bounds there by Maven. Back-to-back -back plays to Derek Moy, and they move the chains on back-to-back -back play. Scrap the ground game, they're going up top. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, they're taking a page out of the book of Northwestern, coming out here and throwing the football almost on every down. Watch this. Makes a little shake and bake. A number 94, Vince Brown in the high step. He's got it all, like I told you in the pregame. Not only with his arm, he's 6'3", 230 pounds, folks. When you got shake like that, you can make things happen with your legs. Clark under center, back to pass, short drop, looks far side, it's caught by Drake at the 10 to the 5, out of bounds inside the 5 at the 2-yard line. The freshman Curtis Drake and it's first and goal at the 2. Clark rolls left, good block by Royster to protect him, now rolls right, sees the opening to the goal line, touchdown, Penn State! Seven plays, 93 yards. Daryl Clark came into the game with the best passer rating in the Big Ten, but when there were no openings through the air, he tied the game with his legs behind an offensive line that gave him pass protection and running room at the same time. There were some bewitching bounces in the first half, and most did not go Penn State's way. Steven Simmons muffed the ensuing kickoff, but recovered and didn't stop until the Wildcats were in Penn State territory. Northwestern starting quarterback Mike Kafka left the game with a leg injury, and backup Dan Persa felt the wrath of the Penn State defense as it tightened. Snap is high, put down, kick is up, it's blocked! Need to go. It is blocked! I think Odrick's the one that got it. Jared Audrick did get the block, and the game stayed tied at 10 with less than a minute to play in the half. The Nittany Lions would not be conservative. Aggressively, they went after the go-ahead score. But when Graham Zug dropped the ball when wide open near midfield, it would force the Nittany Lions to eventually punt. And that gave the Wildcats good field position and just enough time to maneuver into field goal range. This time, there was no block. For that kick by Demos is gone, and Northwestern take the lead with three seconds to go in the half, 13-10. Daryl Clark from the shotgun. Complete to the flat. Zug slips out of the first tackle. Clark, play action, fake back to pass. Delivers down the middle, caught at the 15, down to the 10-yard line to Justin Brown, and a first down for the Nittany Lions. Third and goal at the sixth, Clark gets the snap. Back to pass, throws in the end zone, incomplete. Penn State ties it, but Northwestern keeps the Nittany Lions out of the end zone. But the battle for field position was shifting. Most of the second half would be played in Northwestern territory, thanks to sacks like this one by Jared Audrey. The relentless Penn State defense showed why they are near the top of almost every statistical category in the Big Ten. 
Joe Paterno and his coaching staff knew Northwestern's offense could be dangerous because of their fast pace and the fact that they often get off more than 90 plays a game. But the Nittany Lions would limit them to just 35 snaps in the second half keeping the Wildcats at bay until the Lions offense could explode. Wide out each way, Zug far side, more near side, back goes Clark, sets up a screen far side, is caught by Powell, turns up field 40, first down 35, hurdles to the 30 yard line, and a first down. Back they go for Clark, he sets, he fires downfield, it's caught at the 10, Moy to the 5 yard line, first and goal, Nittany Lions. Boy, good job by the offensive line, and Moy, good move to the outside, try to break an ankle tackle to get into the end zone. Turn, beach him up the middle, side steps to the goal line, touchdown, Penn State, the Nittany Lions cap a 58-yard drive and take the lead. As nighttime settled on Ryan Field, the Wildcats could not escape the grasp of the ghostly Lions. In their all-white uniforms, they appeared to be everywhere, allowing just one first down over three series while setting up the offense with prime field position. First and 10, their own 47-yard line. Rolling near side on play action is Clark. He sets up. He throws downfield for Derek Moy. He reaches out at the 10. Touchdown! Penn State! The Nittany Lions, a big one-play strike, 53 yards from Daryl Clark to Derek Moy. And the Nittany Lions now have that all-important two-score lead. On first down, Purse's <laughs> pass is batted and nearly intercepted by Jack Crawford. For back goes Purse, they run a stunt over the middle. It is caught and decked immediately by Sean Lee. No yards after the catch. Make sure you punish people who are going to catch the ball in the middle of the field, and they've really changed the tone and the tempo of this football game. And up the middle, breaking three, Royster, 50, 45, to the 30, far side 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Evan Royster, a 70-yard run, and the Nittany Lions have put it away. That was a stake to the heart, Penn State's third touchdown in less than four minutes. Royster finished with 118 yards rushing, one of four Nittany Lions to get into the end zone. His run an apparition as he vanished into the shadow. Penn State's defense never rested, shutting out Northwestern in the second half with a scary amount of intensity. This is what you have to do against a team that likes to throw this much. You've got to be physical with those wide receivers. Blitz coming! Hit by Latham! Bubbles the football loose of the turf! And half this guy on that sideline is Tom Bradley after this defense comes up with a stop. This Halloween, Penn State came to the party dressed up as a contender for the Big Ten Championship.